we are welcome once again to this tutorial. Now we have been able to understand the process of modulation and demodulation. Um, I would like us to solve one or two examples to kind of strengthen our understanding. So not to waste much time, let's go ahead and solve this example. The first example is the maximum peak-to-peak -peak voltage of an AM wave is 16 millivolts and the minimum peak-to-peak -peak voltage is 4 millivolts. Calculate the modulation factor. So if you remember, um, in the tutorials of modulation, the modulation factor is the same as the modulation index. Which is also represented by M. And therefore, we also saw that the carrier amplitude is also equal to the A max plus A mean. We established this point. And we also saw that the amplitude of the message signal is also equal to a max minus a mean and therefore if we want to find out what the modulation is modulation index is, we are aware that the modulation index is equal to a m over a c which is equal to m so replacing this one in terms of this one we will be able to get something like m equal to a max minus a mean all over a max plus a mean so let's go ahead and see what um, we can get here so what is a max the maximum amplitude was given to us as was 16 but remember that it's peak to peak so since it's from this peak to this peak we want only the one half of it right so if you want only half of it to deal with it what you need to do is that we want from this line up to this amplitude here therefore we can see that our 16 a max is equal to 16 over 2 which is equal to what 8 millivolts the same thing applies to the other which is the a mean we were given as um 4 millivolts and therefore when we divide by 2 we are going to get what 2 millivolts so in substituting this into the main or the modulation index formula when we substitute this into the modulation index formula m equal to a max minus a mean which is this one over a max plus a mean we are going to get a millivolts that's eight eight millivolts minus two millivolts over eight millivolts plus two millivolts which is equal to six millivolts over ten millivolts you know, votes will cancel, vote, the milli will cancel milli, and we are going to be left with 0 0.6. So now our modulation index is equal to 0 0.6. So let's go ahead and solve the second example. You can pause the video and try your hands on this. Let's go ahead and solve the second example. The second example says that an AM wave is represented by the expression v equal to 5 into bracket 1 plus 0 0.6 cos 6280 t or multiply by sine 211 times 10 to the power 4 so don't worry here is to the power 4 right to the power 4 volts they say we should find the minimum and the maximum amplitude of the am wave and then then two what frequency components are contained in the modulated wave and what is the amplitude of each component so let's go ahead and solve this you can pause this video and try your hands on this so since this is the expression that we have been given we are aware that in the modulation tutorial we came across a formula which is s of t to be equal to AC into brackets 1 plus M cos omega MT or multiplied by cos omega CT. You are all aware of this formula. As I said earlier on, in terms of modulation and demodulation, you can either use a sign or cos they are all acceptable 
So if you have been given an expression in sine, you can use this formula to also compare with it. So looking at this formula and comparing it is the one equation one here. We can say that our AC, which is the carrier amplitude to be equal to five volts. Let's look at our modulation index. We can see that our modulation index M is also equal to 0 0.6. Looking at whatever is here, we have an expression inside the course and then an expression inside the sign. Comparing this one to this, we can see that this is the message signal. Seeing this is the message signal, we can say that omega m is equal to 2 pi fm. And therefore, if we have been given omega m, which is 680, we can find our value of fm. So our fm is going to be 6280 over 2 pi. 6280 over 2 pi and the result is going to give us approximately 1 kilohertz approximately 1 kilohertz or if you don't want to run it out or run it off you can just leave it at 999.49 9, hertz they are all acceptable. So now we have let's at, let's take it as approximately one kilohertz, and we can do same for the carrier frequency of which we are going to say that our omega c is equal to two pi f c. Looking at the equation given, the omega c is two hundred eleven times ten to the power four. So we can say that our 211 times 10 to the power 4 divided by 2 pi is equal to Fc. And therefore, we can say that our Fc is equal to 336,000 hertz, which is equal to 336 kilohertz. Now we have all these parameters, which is the carrier frequency, the message frequency, the modulation index and then the amplitude of the carrier let's try our best and answer the questions so what are the minimum and the maximum amplitude of the am wave as we all know here do right now is that we know our modulation index m equal to am over ac which is also equal to a max minus a min all over a max plus a min we know our modulation index to be equal to 0 0.6 and our amplitude of the carrier wave it's giving us 5 so am over 5 so i can say that my am wave is equal to 0 0.6 times 5 which is given to us as 3 volts now have 3 volts we can establish the fact that AC equal to A max plus A min and then AM is equal to a max minus a min putting them inside and solving this simultaneous equation we can say that our five is equal to a max plus a min and our three is equal to a max minus a min adding these two equations a min a min will go away we have two a max to be equal to eight and therefore we can say that our a max is equal to four volts and substituting this four volts inside any of the equation we are going to say that for example if you are taking the first equation 
for example, when you are taking the first equation, which is 5 equal to a max plus a min, you are going to get 5 equal to 4 plus a min. And therefore, my a min is equal to 5 minus 4 equal to 1 volts. Or, when I pick this one too, it's supposed to work. So if I'm doing that one, I'm going to get 3 equal to a max. That's a max minus a min. So if I'm bringing the a min to the left hand side, I'm going to get it positive. A min is equal to a max is already 4 minus the 3, which is also 1 volt. So any of them that you are going to pick, it is supposed to work. So basically, we have been able to solve this question um, for the part I. Let's go ahead and look at how we are going to solve for the second part, which is the frequency components that is contained in this modulated way. So, as I said earlier on, when we were doing the modulation tutorials, we came across the fact that in an AM modulation, we have the carrier frequency, we have the lower sideband frequencies and then we have the upper sideband frequencies so the carrier frequency have already been calculated and it was 336 kilo hertz and then the message frequency is fm was also calculated which is what one kilo hertz so since we have these ones we are aware that our lower sideband frequency is equal to frequency of the carrier minus the frequency of the message, which is going to give us 336 kilohertz minus 1 kilohertz. And this gives us 335 kilohertz. Looking at the upper sideband frequency, we have FC plus FM. And therefore, we can say that our frequency is 336 kilohertz plus 1 kilohertz, which is equal to 337 kilohertz. Therefore, we can say that the, the frequency component of this AM modulated signal is equal to FC equal to 336 kilohertz, FM equal to 1 kilohertz, lower sideband or let's say f lsb is equal to 335 kilohertz and our f usb is equal to 337 kilohertz so this is the answer to that particular question